Okay, the thing with this inverter, this is a 2000 watt, is that when I received it, due to the transportation, the box was damaged, and uh, this black negative pin for the input was completely broken, and I've been here gluing it and trying to keep it in place. What happened was that as I put this in place, somehow inside the contacts between black and red came together through this board because this is metal. I believe I have a shortcut here between this one and this one. And that's why whenever I plug it to a power supply it uh, it shuts the power supply down because my power supply, that one, it has a feature that if it detects a short circuit it shuts down and that's what's happening and um, I'll try to fix that okay what I have here is my power inverted I think it has the input shorted if I do this negative and positive it gives me readings so I'll disassemble it and try to see what's going on inside. Uh, it would be nice if I could manage to fix this. Okay. Looks like this is gonna be a quick fix because I'll show you for a better view. I have plugged it to my 12 volt power supply and I've plugged it like this, keeping the um, positive and negative separated. And now, when I go here, and I turn it on, it simply turns on, and the fan starts working, and looks like the inverter is working fine. So the shortcut was... So the shortcut was an issue with uh, ground touching positive on the inside. I'll simply fix that and hopefully it'll be good to go. Okay, so now I've assembled the thing back together as you can see here and now I'll simply put 
put the box cover in. Put this box, box cover in. Insert this in place. Yeah. Here goes one. Here on this side. On this side goes another one. And hopefully this will be working fine in the end. Okay, the thing is assembled back together. And we still have some readings, not much. Let's test it again. Okay, now I have here a car battery, the inverter, and I also have a light bulb connected to it. And this is just for testing. Uh, this inverter has a feature that if it has low power, it beeps. So let me just turn it on, and now I'll touch the boards on in the battery. And let's see if it works. And there you go. It's working. So, it is working fine. See?